Earlier this year, I had the honor of visiting the City of Philadelphia Police Department, where they're using ArcGIS Server and WebGIS to empower more than 6,000 officers and detectives, and it's making a difference. To tell us a little bit more about their work, please welcome from the City of Philadelphia and the Mayor's Office, Grant Irvin. Good morning. I'm Grant Irvin, Public Safety GS Program Manager with the City of Philadelphia. Law enforcement agencies face challenges on a daily basis. We're comprised of large workforces, bound by tradition, and dependent on intensive human capital. The need for technology usually becomes a maybe next year consideration, so we've learned to take short-term, band-aid-style approaches in order to meet our objectives. However, there comes a point in time we can no longer meet those objectives. A decision is made that allows us to perform a huge leap forward in terms of technology. A prime example of that is the Philadelphia Police Department's crime mapping and analysis application. By integrating over a dozen different law enforcement systems and moving GIS from the desktop to the server, we've been able to transform the way the GIS group works and thinks, which in turn has transformed the way the Philadelphia Police Department works and thinks by enabling everyone to be a GIS user. So I'd like to show you some of the data we've been able to integrate into the application. For the first time ever, the entire department has immediate access to real and reliable incident data coming from a number of different systems. A district commander can now see the activity of his field, the activities of his field staff, but he can also see the activities of other groups, such as the highway group, or a tactical group, or a burglary detail group working in the same area. He can also overlay other information, such as active warrants or prison releases. Now, attempting a paradigm shift at a department with over 6,000 officers took us a little over three years. And uh, to be honest with you, at times it actually felt impossible. But we've managed to change a number of the workflows within the department and provide tools that have led to more effective and efficient policing. One of those tools is the date range tool. This tool allows the user to enter a custom set of parameters and have that information returned on the map. In this example, I'll display three months of narcotics crimes in this specific area of the map. When the results are returned on the map, the user actually has the ability now to look at the data in a tabular view, a summary account view, which breaks down the information as far as where the things happen as far as days of the week or hours of the day or specific tours or specific crimes. But we also provide them the ability to do on-the-fly hotspot analysis. Now, I could sit here and talk about this all day, but I actually thought it would be better if I brought a real detective here to show you how he uses the application. So many days, nights, weekends, and even holidays, you can find Detective Justin Frank logged into the system in order to solve crimes. Please welcome Detective Justin Frank. Hey, yo. Good morning. My name is Detective Justin Frank from the Philadelphia Police Department. And I'm here to talk about how GIS has become a real game changer for the Philadelphia Police. Meet William Hagens, or who we like to call the Grinch that stole Christmas. Now, right before Christmas, the St. Gabriel's Convent was broken into two nights in a row while the nuns were sleeping. All the kids' Christmas toy and field trip money was stolen. So I pulled up the map, and I see this guy Hagens get stopped about an hour after one of the burglaries and in very close proximity. I gave the order to bring him in. During interrogation, we learned that Hagens was using another address across town. The map revealed a similar burglary pattern at that location. I confronted Hagens with the evidence. Subsequently, he confessed. He also told me what he did with the Christmas toy money. He got a new iPhone and a new tattoo. No drug habit, no sob story. What a special guy. <laughs> Thanks to GIS, case closed. <laughs> Thank you. Robert Reed. This guy eluded us for years. At 18 years old, 
he was already a veteran criminal. Now this case exemplifies how we use GIS for predictive analysis. Now understand before mapping, the best we could hope for was maybe to stumble upon one of these burglars, get one or two convictions. So let me preface this a little bit. At the time, the first district was having a burglary problem, and I was able to use the GIS system to identify a burglary pattern in that location you see up on the hot zone right there. It's a very small area. So this time, I had officers focus their attentions in this small area. I kid you not, within an hour, the radio was going nuts. Cops were screaming, send me back up. I'm in foot pursuit. Light sirens everywhere. It was total chaos, but it was music to my ears because thanks to GIS, we were in the right place at the right time. So I'll never forget the look on uh, Reed's face when I showed him the map. In fact, I let him make his phone call. He calls his dad and he goes, yo, dad, they got me. They even had a map with my name on it. <laughs> so I confronted Reed with all this evidence. Subsequently, he confessed to a total of 16 burglaries, thanks to GIS. Case closed. Now, I'm not the only one that uses GIS. Here's an example of an interactive web app that my friends at the Criminal Intelligence Unit use to pump out real-time situational awareness of gang activity. Notice the red polygons. These are hot zones. Now, understanding gang territory, a zone can go from cold to hot very rapidly and for a myriad of reasons, such as a shooting incident or a threat of retaliation. Getting this information out to officers on the street is mission critical in keeping them alive. GIS has become more important to law enforcement now more than ever. You know why? Because in today's economy, we are forced, just like everybody else here, to do more with less. 50 cops might retire this month. Doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna get 50 replacements. Citizens don't wanna hear we don't have enough cops to do the job, and they shouldn't have to. GIS allows us to provide Philadelphians with an even higher level of service using less resources. Now I have to admit, I love being a super detective and having an edge over these guys, but I would be remiss if I didn't thank the real heroes in our eyes, and that's you people. GIS professionals that provide us with these amazing maps that allow us to make such a difference. So from me, and on behalf of all my brothers and sisters in blue, back at the Philly PD, South Detectives, thank you very much. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Grant. But before you guys leave, I want to share a short story with everyone. Last month, Justin and I had a cheesesteak on the streets of Philly. It was a Pat's cheesesteak. And then <laughs> this pizza delivery guy came running across the road to talk to Justin. And he said, how's that court case going against the guy that carjacked me? And then he said something really inspiring. The pizza delivery guy said, how can I help you? What else can I do? And for me, that was an amazing moment because I had firsthand evidence of local citizens working with their law enforcement officials using GIS to make a difference in their community. So on behalf of everyone, I want to say thank you to Grant and Justin and the Philadelphia Police Force. Thank you. Thank you.